hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel um this is probably very new but i have somebody here with me and so as you can see <laughs> from the title below <laughs> we will be comparing our experiences um at a public university and a private university but before we get into it it's your girl Tora. <laughs> um so please don't forget to like share and subscribe i know there is no order in this video but it's not an issue because all we want to do here is figure things out and figure out what our next step is with regards to varsity sorry this is my friend tabby she studied um uh, graphic design graphic design <laughs> <laughs> graphic design um at eduvos but it was mgi back in the day right yeah i've been from mgi to Pearson to Edubos. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think it was the Bedford View campus, yeah, right? Bedford. Yeah. Uh, so we're just gonna go through five five topics and how we're gonna compare how we're gonna compare them. The first one, guys, if I'm reading, it's because I wrote everything down and I just need to take note of what's going on. Okay, so there's five things. It's gonna be fees, support, environment, socializing and academics so we're just going to go through each of those and then we're going to discuss it and then you guys will get to see what the difference is so that you guys can have a better choice or options or if you're a bit confused yeah that yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay so i'm gonna let you go first what were the fees like in first year second year third year if you do remember so i can't give you like exact figures mm. i'll give you from what i had then so first year was 81k for the whole year for the so whole year both semesters both semesters so that was about 10k each each module and then oh that was a surprise of note by the way <laughs> <laughs> compared to trying to um enroll at uj yeah and so then, that's a lot we didn't we didn't have that <laughs> it was first year i think was thirty thousand, and then second yes. year was thirty five thousand. Yeah, yeah and was. then Final year was 45,000 or like 43,000, somewhere there. It wasn't mm. too expensive. And so we had this thing um, at the end of the year, you'd pay like an early bird fee. So if you pay that early bird fee, your fees go down like by two, three thousand. Oh, that's... So I started at 81. Early bird fee got mm -hmm. me back down to, I think, 75, if I'm not lying. And then okay. if you skip that early bird, obviously you jumped into the next year's fees. Okay. And that was like the hard part also okay yeah that's expensive <laughs> did you have did you have scholarship options you do but you don't also at the same time mm -hmm. so um in first year i opted for a student loan okay um yeah it was easier with a student loan you don't necessarily get uh, scholarships per se for private schools unless like there's a bigger company actually offering to do that oh okay so that's that's as much as i know if i'm wrong someone can correct me, <laughs> someone can it's, correct it's, me. it's fine it's fine yeah. this is again this is not exactly the price this is not exactly what yeah. will happen with you we're just sharing our experience and we're just comparing the two we went to first year in 2016 yeah. so it's we've been a while been, so <laughs> we've been out for a while things have changed guaranteed yeah. um next we're going to talk about support like how was the support structure from your lecturers your tutors or who else i can tell you they were it was very 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 good um like you always had support mm. like you'd clash with them because you want your idea more than the other and then but you'd end up seeing okay they're actually pushing me in the right direction so mm. they'll give you your idea a little bit and then they'll tell you okay change this do that um, they're able to show you on your work where to change stuff rather okay. than just speaking to you about it So they're also very practical with explaining stuff mm. to you um, If you're close with your classmates, then that's also another thing because then they can also motiv motivate you So if you're like, oh, I'm stuck on this Like for me graphic design, we'd forget we use programs So mm. if I forgot something on that program, so I knew someone else knew So it was easier because we had a good relationship in the class. It was easier to ask for help and they were only like in first year we started 22 by third year they were 12 of us okay so so that's what it is being yeah. by that size 
<laughs> so the most you'll get is about 20, 22. Okay, in a class. And in then did class. you guys have like smaller groups to then tutor, like where a tutor would take you in and explain things? Or was there extra classes or anything like that? There was, honestly, to be, like, to be very honest, it was very free. Mm. Um, so if you left, you left. If you stayed, you stayed. But if you needed help, the lecturers were always there. Okay. So you just needed to check if they may, maybe weren't like teaching another year. Oh, okay. So if they were open, they definitely were ready to help you. All right. Well, um, for me, it was a little bit different. I mean, not different. I think we did have a lot of support. But then if you're isolated and you're, you don't, like, initially you don't have a lot of people you talk to. Mm -hmm. And you don't have friends. You don't, yeah. All you have is a lecture mm -hmm. and the tutors. And we would have to book appointments to see lecturers. Mm -hmm. Sometimes tutors. You would only so you always have a tutorial, and you would go into the tutorial like after class. You would have a tutorial mm -hmm. where like somebody explains, and this would be in a shorter, like a smaller group, like twenty, mm -hmm. thirty, um, and yeah, like you got support, but like I wouldn't. I don't think it would be the same as the support that you got because yeah. if the lectures are easily accessible mm -hmm. then it's different from how our lectures were i mean it's not that they weren't they you could still find them but you'd have to book for an appointment you're lucky if you walk in and they help you because mm -hmm. obviously there's so many other students that they have like 500 200 yeah. depending on the module yeah, but i also think that the difference between both of our courses mm. is that like with mine i could just go to youtube for a tutorial I'd, I'd go home like ah YouTube, mm. <laughs> and I could watch it and I'd learn from that. Whereas so other modules or other courses, you actually need verbal communication. Yeah, and that's that's a big that's hectic. <laughs> <laughs> that's hectic. Yeah. Um. The next topic is environment. How was the environment? Environment was very chilled. I'm telling you, dude. I'm not gonna lie. Mm. I'm not gonna lie. It was very. I think it was more open-minded like people understood that okay you're young you're either going to concentrate or you're not mm. it's either this or that and if you were going to be serious about it, you're going to do your work then you were going to go out and chill or go to the canteen buy food come back it was it just depended on how what kind of person you are actually so if you were a social person you do what you had to do a little bit and you'd go chill for the rest of the day or it just depended on the day actually mm. like what you felt like doing but it was very open okay um our environment was i mean we had facilities we definitely had all of those they were, like i don't think i'm sure you also had the same like facilities was never an issue like mm. you basically have every need of a person which is like bathrooms there's always bathrooms everywhere yeah. you also had the same we had um Chill areas unisex bathrooms okay actually i think it was no gender Gen non -gen i have no idea but it was a shared Some bathroom yeah. for everyone right oh, we didn't um have that. you didn't have that no you did uj um <laughs> <laughs> so we had that um like the environment was very nice the way the campus is built you know if you've been to APK, um, also if you're new to my channel, I'm so sorry, I didn't even tell y'all. <laughs> but if you like an old subscriber, you know, I studied BCom Economics at the University of Johannesburg. Hence, I talk a lot about UJ. The way it's built, APK, Auckland mm -hmm. Park, um, all the lectures, like all the lecture halls are like here. And then like in the middle, it's like, it's where there's grass, you know, where mm -hmm. you get to sit, everything. So it's as soon as you get onto campus you just there's just a vibe you know there's Scenery. always a vibe and then you get the day houses they used to make music they used to play music and then mm -hmm. it was like yeah you know you'd be like oh my gosh university vibes <laughs> so yeah it's, varsity it's life. yeah varsity life <laughs> <laughs> so it was so the environment was also pretty chill like i don't think we had i don't think we had any issues you know mm. yeah and then um socializing Socializing was very easy if you're a social person. Mm. Um, if you're quiet, you'll tend to get like social people who will come ask you, are you okay? Like, why are you chilling by yourself? Do you want to come chill with us? Or if you have a good relationship in your class, like with your classmates, they might know someone in a different course. Mm. And when you go walk out with them, they'll introduce you and then the friendship group just gets bigger. Or you'll bond over something like playing pool in the canteen or dropping something and someone saying hey this is yours mm -hmm. or in the chill sections 
Hubby always happens to bring people together somehow. Or someone's borrowing a lighter. Like, mm. you know, you, you connect in certain ways. If someone lights someone's car, for example. And then, I don't know, it was just open. Was, I think they always put it into us, but we didn't even know that mm. we always keep an open mind to new things, new people. And it was just, it was just like a creative spot. spot yeah. Although there were serious courses there, like LLB and mm -hmm. psychology and whatnot. And they were pretty serious because there was a point where we were mixed with them and us, we can't stop talking. Mm -hmm. so, someone said shh and we <laughs> lost it. <laughs> so, it was like, eh. okay, we don't do that with them. Mm. But we didn't care either. So. Did you have social still make friends? I'm sure we did. <laughs> I don't good. know. <laughs> I'm sure it's on the websites. I'm sure. Probably. Yeah. I mean, so if, you if look, you're looking, you'll find it. If you're interested. Um, yeah. oh, socializing at UJ. I feel like you personally, I'm a very social person, so it wasn't a struggle. Got into class, you know, even if there's 500 people, I knew those 500 people. Okay, most of them, all of them. And your mouth is contained, um, so everyone's gonna look back at you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so there was that's how I made, I made friends. My friends were friends with other people, you know, and the friendship group grows bigger yeah. the same way. Uh, Hubbardy brings people together. She's definitely right about that. <laughs> um, <I'm cold> <laughs> exactly. <That's so> <laughs> uh, towards the end of my time at UJ, I later on discovered that there were social clubs for, I would say, just different things. There was SRC, which is like the Students Council. Oh, yeah, we had that. You also had that, yeah. yeah. That we, had, <laughs> we had... We um, had like international groups like i joined the nigerian student society mm -hmm. there were quite a few societies but because of the limits of people i think we i think i wanted to join was a weekend one as well but mm. they weren't that many people so oh, they couldn't have it they couldn't have it yeah. so because all these societies would have events and then we also had the day houses which i'm sure you guys didn't have no. so day <laughs> houses if you're not aware it's basically like your varsity dream right so you have res and the way like americans create varsity vibes yeah. like with um greek frat houses, and frat houses yeah. yeah so res the res um people would do oh, events. fraternity yeah thingies. but we don't call it that no. res <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> they would have like events but if you don't live on res you could still participate in that and you would join a day house to participate in the events that they would have which oh, okay. would cool. yeah so you would get to collaborate with the res people and then you'd also join like i guess day house and i think there's day houses in all campuses so <laughs> that's nice so if you don't live on campus you can still be part of res life not edivos no. <laughs> <laughs> no. didn't have that but there was <laughs> residents right. though um the one that i do know of is madrid okay there's res like just a block away i think from the varsity there's some res apartments there not really sure how that goes down because mm. also i live very far from there yeah so i couldn't go there so we had to pick the somewhere that was yeah. very close um but i can tell you the transition from trying to apply at uj and vits mm. compared to eduvos which was ps mgi at the mm. time ma'am it was different it was different it was different like I feel like UJ, because also at some point we tried to apply for, it's called, is it NASA's? Yeah. We also tried to apply for that. But like, there were so many things that you yeah. had to fill in and yep. it felt like a stretch. <laughs> like, sign this, fill this, and I was like, nah, mom. This is too much. No. no. And then we got to Edgewas and it was just like, this is what you fill in. Um, I'm sure if you were there for student loan, you'd say if you were there for mm. student loan. But you fill this in and then if you accept it, you accept it. Okay. If you're not, you're not. I felt like it was much easier or maybe it was just a rush rush situation. I do think it would be much easier. I mean, UJ has facilitated like the whole process. You mm. just do it online, they give you a response on, like they send you an email mm. to say we've, we've, we've seen your application, we've mm. received it. Then they give you a response and then a year later, they would then like the next year if you're applying mm. for the next year they would give you an email to confirm like after matric results come out they'll give you an email 
to be like you are accepted sure. welcome abroad aboard but i mean i get it i think back in the day when i was also applying to vits and up they wanted id copies they wanted and must your... be certified yeah on top of that yeah some of them, some oh, of them. i don't remember i don't remember it's id wild. copies always has to be certified <laughs> if you're gonna send a copy yeah that's the and then your grade 11 results like i think we you also to... if you were in matric wanting to go apply for varsity early you had to send grade 11 results yeah do you did oh my god yeah you did you do yeah. have to do that it's, it's then, been a while so and then metric results come out and then they determine from there whether, oh, okay yeah i think grade 11 was like book you in mm. yeah, there's a little bit of a seat but your metric results will let you know yeah. if you're actually in or not that, i was think that's the same scary with us. no because mine was lastminute.com okay because for me i wanted to go anything with art mm. and my mom was like nah you doing business or hr and i was like man i'm not <laughs> <laughs> so we had an argument mm. and by the time we went to go do like fine arts or something to do with arts mm. and uj and vits it was already packed yeah that's how we landed up at eddie boss yeah and they had space so there was just like last okay, minute last but minute you needed to yeah because she didn't even want to take a gap year so i was like are you gonna do what i want or we're not doing anything <laughs> and i was like I'm sorry. That's just how it be. That's how it has to be. So we ended up with graphic design, thankfully. Also, mm -hmm. we've been in HR. And you know me. I don't like prescribed books. <laughs> I don't. I really don't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, lastly, we're going through academics. Just the experience of academics, mm -hmm. the entire course itself. Like... Mm -hmm. How has it experienced the course, the work itself, everything? Graphic design is not easy. Mm. Yeah? Number one. Number two, you're not going to go there, draw pictures, and no, it's not that. You're going to learn how to draw specific things. So you're going to learn how to draw metal, plastic, wood, material. You're going to learn pencil, pen, charcoal, paint, actual ink, draw with ink different printing ways, um, the way to do stuff digitally, mm -hmm. by hand, digitally. So it's a lot to take in. Like, let me say first semester, or first year, you'll do a lot of handwork. And then second semester, they'll introduce you into digital. And then second and third will be more digital than it is handwork. Okay. But if you're going to do last minute dot com stuff, I'm telling you now, you will live on Red Bull and Monster for the last three days before you have to hand those things in. You won't sleep <laughs> because it's not easy. Mm. There were points where um, there was this guy, him and I were like the class clowns of note. So we'd always be behind with our drawings. So we'd get there and we'd have like two days or the night before we're supposed to hand in our whole brief. And there's 26 pictures missing 26 drawings so now you're sitting the whole day trying to mm. catch up with the entire class and you'll sit the entire night and hand in is at three and you've got 26 drawings and you have to make them look as if you it's drew been, them three know, weeks yeah. ago <laughs> they, they were taken you took you time, time to exactly. do it so yeah. hand-drawn stuff not easy digital stuff if you're late you're gonna suffer i'm not mm. gonna lie to you you're gonna suffer because there's if you're gonna have to make videos you're gonna suffer because there's a lot of things that go into making a video um drawings printing as is every course it's not easy but you need to apply yourself mm. that's one thing you have to do like i mentioned you always do get the help from your lecturers and whatnot but if you're determined you'll get there if not you'll see it your work will definitely show that you're playing around mm. if if you're serious it will show you either well, made for it or you're not right? yeah it's rough <laughs> what, would you, what would you rate your entire academic experience with your lecturers you know the environment like everything like mgi but specifically to to graphic design because then we can't necessarily rate for everything other stuff else. because you know we don't yeah. know for all of that for graphic design honestly was chilled mm. I think I've said that so many times in this video. <laughs> I've said chilled so many times. But it was. Uh, crunch time was crunch time. But you would get like really, really tough criticism. Mm. Like, you thinking you're 
this works. Any thick skin. This, this work looks great, and they'll tell you it looks like you drew the back of a toilet. And you said they like, yeah. <laughs> now Damn. you have to go redo the entire thing. Mm. So you need a backbone, you need thick skin, you need to know how to take criticism. They're not trying to make you feel stupid, they try to help you see the bigger picture. Yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, well, to you. my academic art was top tier. You know, it was top tier, my lectures, everything was. In, in the economics department, there was just support. Like, there mm. was support. Um, don't hesitate to go in there. There's always somebody to help you. There's always the students just, I don't know Waiting. what they're doing in there, <laughs> but they're there. You can ask questions. Like, it was very chilled, as you say. <laughs> very chilled. Um, I think academics-wise, they take things very serious. No jokes, you know. Very chilled, you know definitely highly rated you should definitely go to uj oh, no. <laughs> but i'm sure you should definitely go to any it divorce it, it also now. as as we've spoken about this you can understand like how it is um either one i feel like is an opportunity studying university is an opportunity of a mm -hmm. lifetime go there go and have fun you know don't hesitate don't be like oh me i'm scared don't be scared okay. everyone is scared also everyone is scared um i was scared i didn't even know what graphic design was i didn't know what economics was so. <laughs> <laughs> just jumped in here just jumped and... in you know but yeah so guys this is just our point of view of how we viewed or our experience in my public university which is uj and her private university which is mgi slash pearson slash it was <laughs> um <laughs> the little drama there just like um <laughs> So please don't, please don't take, don't, we don't work at UJ. We are not affiliated with any of the universities no. that we're in. We, you know, this is just our experience. So yeah, take it with a teaspoon of salt, but this is just our experience. Our experience. Yes. And <laughs> if you have any questions, please comment below and we'll definitely make a whole new video. Yes, I will go and see this girl again to make a whole video <laughs> for you guys so you can hear her point of view and just so that you know what to expect with regard to university and everything and actually you know this is something that i forgot to say at the beginning um we do have uh scholarships i'm sure everyone knows this yeah. but i think i think it's something that public universities usually have but i think private university has have they have but it's like usually just a small percentage True, yeah. that they take off um so yeah, we do have it. We have sports, academic, quite a few scholarships. And even when you're in university, you do get a scholarship. Like if you're really doing well, they'll mm -hmm. offer you orange carpet. Do you guys have that? I wouldn't know, man. Yeah, okay. I wasn't. Um, I, I wasn't part, <laughs> but I I heard that there is that. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, you can definitely get a scholarship. It's not the end. If you don't get one at the beginning, you can get one in the middle. We still have NASFAS, but I know that everyone, not everyone, qualifies True. for NASFAS. So. But you still would like affordable schooling there's always scholarships but anyway if you're interested in the scholarships and what's going on comment down below i'll make a whole video for you you know me comment and i'll make an <laughs> entire video for you um i hope to see you guys in the next video please like share and subscribe and if you're wondering how we know each other we went high to high school yes <laughs> we went to high school together um and she used to bully me she was the bully. Look at that face. <laughs> she was the bully. I mean, look at that face. She just she was the bully. <laughs> um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye. <laughs>